everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have another tonic craft kit here this one is called the sassy shell bag and it's the darcy bag so this kit is available from today from tonic studios the kits are only available through tonic studios and once they're gone they're gone so this one i'm sure is going to be a popular one you don't have to subscribe to every month you can get one-off kits i put all the information to where you can go and find these kits in the description box so go and check that out at the end um but that's um the information that i need to give you right now and then i'm going to jump in and see what's included in this box so the kits come in these sturdy gorgeous looking boxes and then inside you get the hello message on the top and these boxes i like keeping them because i store a lot of my um scrap papers or if you've got leftover bits and pieces from your kids you can put them back in there as well you get a paper bag a beautiful paper bag um with the nouveau products this one comes with a binder so you get a binder for every fourth kit and then this will include a folder with your dies and stamps which i'll show you in a sec and then you also get a folder in here with your papers and cards for that particular kit so i'm gonna go through the papers with you first so let's put those aside Ooh, and i can see some beautiful blues and teals in there and these are taster kits so if you like any cards or papers that are in this, these kits, you can definitely go and buy full packs of them. So this is the beautiful teal glitter card from Tonic Studios. I love Tonic Glitter Card. It's the best glitter card I've ever used throughout my crafting. Then you get this beautiful pearlized swirl specialty card. And I've not got the correct names in front of me, but I'll try and put all the information in the description box. Then this is... We do it like this this is the classic cream which has this slight weave texture you can see there so you get two of those then this is a classic another classic card this is a dark purple then you get this beautiful lavender color then this is a beautiful teal and then a beautiful bluey teal kind of colour. So these are all the papers and cards you're going to get. Let me just put them there. Then onto the Nouveau products. And I can see some full size products in there. So in here, <clears throat> I have a full pack of hybrid ink pads. And these are the tropical fruits. And I love these ink pads. I think they're just good for everything you can watercolor with them you can go direct to paper with them you can do lots of techniques with them as well so these are my three ink pads you've got the rubber duck lime burst and this one is the panama rose so you've got three of those and then here i have a spray this one is a sparkle spray <clears throat> and it's a beautiful beautiful gold color as you can see and this is called cream gold it's a beautiful, beautiful colour. And as the name suggests, you spray it and you get some sparkle. So it's a really, really nice um, embellishment to add to your projects. Then I have a crystal drop. And who doesn't love a good crystal drop? This one is called Morning Dew and this dries clear. So perfect for adding those beautiful drops in the background of your projects. Then we have a precision glue pen and this one is the you can get quite a few different um tips with these this one is the precision one so it's smaller at the top and you just remove that little plastic on the top which is like a protector and then you're good to go with that so these are perfect for writing messages or even um just adding a bit of sparkle to the edge edge of your card and pouring glitter on top and then some ribbon here this is the ivory white um ribbon from tonic studios and this is the three millimeter size so those are my nouveau products now on to the main part so inside the folder i have my dies and stamps so let's get these out and you always get a sticker with your packs 
so my sticker and i always show this goes on the front of here so i know which kit that belongs to i'll show you the stamp in a sec so you get this large die here this is going to create your main bag shape and it's such a nice shape you can see there you've got all the decorative pieces to go on the edges and of course this is a verso die so you don't have to always use these with your projects you can actually create really nice designs within your cards as well with all your verso dies and then you've got some layers here to create extra dimension to your bag as well and there's some sentiments here which I'm not sure what they say but I will find out once I've cut into them and um, this one says see you soon lots of love and just for you and then there's a little um, shell shaped tag here as well and this fits perfectly in there as well so really really nice die set onto the stamps wow this is a huge stamp so this stamp can be stamped out and then cut out so you've got the coordinating die or you can just stamp onto the base of the actual um, shape here of the bag shape and then color it in so really really nice large um stamp here that you can color in with whatever colors you want and then you've got all the decorative pieces as well that you can stamp and color and this one says let's celebrate and then wishing you oceans of joy here so really really nice die set i can't wait to get some bits and pieces cut out and i'll come back and we'll make a bag together Okay, so to create your sassy shell bag, you're going to need two of these base dies and you can see the score lines are already in there. All you're going to do is fold onto the score lines and then you're going to put some tape here, here and here. And I recommend using red liner tape for this construction. And then um, I've got the sides here that I've used the teal card and the beautiful teal glitter card. And then this is one of the panels. I wanted to show you this bit here because you can cut the sentiment inside this die here. Let me just show you quickly. So you get these little sections. Um, well, they're not little. These sections here, and you can put your sentiment die in here. So that's what I've done. And then for the back of this bit, I've just put this on some of that beautiful lilac card and I've just cut around it to give me this shape and I've just stuck it behind here and that's going to go on there with some um, deluxe adhesive. So I love using this as well. So I'm going to use a combination of this wet glue as well as some red liner tape, which I have here to the side. And then I've got some other little bits and pieces that I've cut out as decorative pieces and this says lots of love as well and all these dies are in the kit so let's get this put together
that finishes my beautiful sassy shell bag so you saw the only other thing i used were these little tiny flowers from my stash i thought i just made it look um really extra pretty and then um this ribbon as well the aubergine purple that's from my stash is a tonic one and um it came out really adorable so you can see the details i love the contrast with the purple and the teal really really cute and then i've added these are actually tags um but i've just snipped the little tag bit off the top and i've used it as extra embellishments at the front which finished it off really really well i have done another one which is a totally different colorway to this one just gonna get it out here so this is another beautiful one that i've done and you can see the contrast is totally different um the only additional thing i've used that's not in the kit is some gold card i'm sure you've got some gold card if you want to replicate this look um so for this one the main thing i did was i used some cream card from the kit and i blended over the die cut so i've used a die cut as a stencil and i've used my tonic blending brushes just to go in and you can use this die cut as well like this that looks really really pretty but i wanted like a stenciled look on the cream card so i've just placed it on the cream card and i've gone in with my lime burst and the panama rose and it's given this beautiful beautiful effect and then to get that shimmery magical look i've just gone in and spritzed it with this sparkle spray that's also in the kit and then i've done the same again with this bit here so some more cream card blended the same colors and it's given this beautiful ombre look and this has also been sprayed and the side bits have cut into the side i was going to just leave it um just as a verso die cut into the card and you can see through but when i was sticking it on um it just needed to be a bit more sturdy so then i've just added some cream card on the inside as well so it just um it didn't crack the um intricate uh, die cut and on the side and then this is popped onto some uh, foam pads just to give it extra dimension and this time i have used the um, ivory white ribbon that's in the kit for the closure and these little tiny embellishments so you can see i've got the star and the seashell these are also in the kit and this one says you're fantastic this one says hello sunshine so the few different um sentiments you can use and i think it came out really adorable so that's the back that's the front i have actually colored the front and back of this little um tag this time i kept it as a tag you can see there so you can use whatever colours, whatever papers you have in your stash after you've used the kit. Um, they're just really, really, just put some ink pads behind there to pop them up. They're just really, really fun little bags to create. And I love the shape, I love the design and I love all the little extra bits you get with the, like, the embellishments and the little um, sentiments in the kit as well. So that is it from me for today. I hope I've inspired you. Like I said, the kits are only available from Tonic Studios. I will put all the information in the description box. Um, these are affiliate links. So thank you in advance if you're using those. And I will see you all next time. So until then, take care. Happy crafting. and See you then. Bye.